I'm going to dispense with my normal intro because this is not going to be a happy video. This is going to be a video where I'm going to be totally honest. Yes, Caroline was found dead today in her home alone. And I'm going to read you out a couple of uh, tweets that are typical of the hypocrisy of what goes on in our society. So let's give this a read. This is from the footballer Casey Stoney, MBE. So very, very sad. Next time you are tapping away on your keyboards in hate, just stop for a second and remember that it's someone's daughter, sister, auntie, friend, and most importantly, a person with feelings and emotions. Rest in peace. MC Cover. Rest in peace, Caroline Flack. I really think it's time Love Island was banned. To be honest, I know it's a good show, but so was the Jeremy Carl show, and that was axed for less. For suicides, four suicides from people directly involved in the show. Jordan Cover. The media is 100% responsible for Caroline Flack's death. There needs to be new laws introduced regarding how much the media can hound people, especially regarding their private lives. At the end of the day, she's just a normal girl who has, ex who has excelled in her job. She was in a relationship that went tits up, and the way the media have covered it is so brutally portrayed, and it's made her leave her job and ultimately caused her to eventually take her own life. The fourth person from Love Island who has bad press and been hounded for ages until a tragedy struck. You'd think they'd learned their lesson by now. What a crying shame, man. Caroline isn't dead because of social media, or media, keyboard warriors, or trolls. Caroline Flack is dead because she had serious mental health issues, mental illness. Everybody knows this. Everybody in the entertainment circuit knows this. But still, we print this bullshit. Blaming the media. Blaming social media. That's not why she's dead. Caroline, did you, did you hear what I just read? That Caroline was in a bad relationship that went tits up. Caroline just wasn't in a bad relationship. Caroline was accused of caving her boyfriend's skull in. And she was probably going to go to jail. I would assume that will be enough for anyone to want to end their own lives. But it goes beyond that. The simplicity of the human mentality never, never stops surprising me. And Twitter is full of this bullshit tonight. Bullshit. No one's going to spend the truth. All these beautiful Instagram people, all these beautiful celebrities, so angry and devastated about Caroline's death. How many, was Caroline surrounded by her friends when she died? No, Caroline died alone. That's how she was able to take her own life. Where were all these people who cared about her, who said she was such a lovely person? Caroline lived her life to the fullest. She parted. She dated the men she wanted to date. She lived life sometimes and conducted herself the in a way that society didn't approve of. None of us are perfect. We all judge each other. You know, when I heard what happened with her and her boyfriend, I had a lot of unkind thoughts in my head. And the truth is, so did you. Now, I'm not one of those people who went onto social media and started throwing vitriol at her, but the truth is, those faults were there. It's automatic. Why wouldn't it be? After we heard what she was accused of. That's not the point. It's not about judging people. This woman had serious mental problems. We all know this, but still, we talk about social media and the media hounding someone. That's not what happened here. It's not. And all I'm going to read now, I have to come off of Twitter because I can't stand it. I'm just going to get into arguments because they just don't get it. You didn't know her. You didn't know who she was, how she lived her life. And also, there's so much more deeper issues here. The subject of mental illness 
is something we all discuss on a daily and hourly basis and still we don't get it. Where were her all her friends to encourage her to get professional help? Where were they? Why did she die alone? These are not the things people are talking about. They're blaming people they don't know. They're blaming strangers. In fact, the hypocrisy is there. They're doing what they're saying other people did to Caroline, bullying her. Caroline wasn't on social media anymore after that. She wasn't going on social media. I think she had a few um, pressing issues and worrying about what people were saying about her. She got herself in such a serious bind. And I don't know what happened and why it happened. I don't even know if what she was accused of was true. And today we find out she took her own life. A beautiful, vibrant young woman who had money, who could have anything she wanted. But it's not about beauty. It's not about fame. At the end of the day, none of those things are going to save you from your own kind of faults. Your deep, dark faults. As I said at the top, Caroline is gone because she had issues. She was ill and she needed help. But Caroline needed help for many years. And nobody intervened. Nobody. They just allowed her to carry on because no one wants to be out of the inner circle, do they? That's how this industry works. They suck you dry when you're popular, when everyone wants to know you. And then I wonder when she was accused of this, how many people rallied round her? Interestingly, her boyfriend seemed to be the only one who came out in public to defend her. The very man she allegedly attacked. But where was everyone else? Who was defending her? All the usual feminists and all, all that bullshit were defending her because they have an agenda. But who was being a friend to her? Who was giving her love? She clearly needed love. She clearly needed to be around people that cared about her. But who truly cared about Caroline? I don't know. Do you? They say they're angry. They say they're angry at the press. They say they're angry at the media. Be angry at yourselves. Because the truth is, where were you? Where were you when Caroline needed you? You were nowhere. Don't come onto social media with your vitriol and your histrionics. Just blaming Love Island. What's Love Island got to do with Caroline taking her own life? She wasn't a contestant. Soon they'll be talking about aftercare. It had nothing to do with Love Island. It had nothing to do with social media. It had nothing to do with the media hounding her. The media follow around famous people. That's what happens. And it's difficult and it's hard. Yes. But that's not why she took her own life. She was seriously mentally ill. And we all knew that. People are saying they're surprised that she took her own life. You're really surprised about this? For those of you who knew her, how can you be surprised about this? You knew she was on the edge of the cliff for years. You know she needed help while you kept on pouring wine and whatever else down her throat. She's dead. It's too late now. It's too late to point fingers. And we're all doing it. The truth is, this beautiful, vibrant young woman died on her own. And she isn't going to be the first. Because we look at society at the wrong way. If I go onto Instagram now, there's going to be so many Instagram influencers and people who, who kind of met her once or twice who took part on Love Island because Caroline wasn't a big part of Love Island. I know I, I know that it may seem that she was a big part of Love Island. The presenting gig she had was very small because it wasn't like being a presenter of Big Brother. She literally would do the kind of redatings, I think, once a week. And that was it. So she wasn't really present really, that much. She came in and she came out. It's, it's really affected me because I just look at people and the mentality is the same. And what amazes me how Twitter becomes an echo chamber for all those people, for all those people, for all those people. For all those people saying all those people. 
Think about it. Caroline is dead because nobody looked after her. And by God, did she need looking after. But as soon as it came out what she was accused of, you all kept your distance, didn't you? She was alone. She was alone and she had no one. It's one thing for totally total strangers to blame her and to think badly of her, but her own friends, the entertainment industry, to distance themselves from her. And as soon as this happened, she was no longer presenting Love Island. Interesting, isn't it? Well, probably a poor choice of words. It's not interesting. That's what the entertainment industry is. When you're hot, you're hot. And everyone's around you and they want to touch you and they want to be around you. But when something comes out about you, nobody wants to come near you. We're all to blame and no one's to blame. She was ill. She needed help. And the thing is with mental illness, it isn't just, it isn't easy, it isn't a cold. When you're suffering from mental illness, you're, you can't get yourself the help. How many times do we hear these pretty celebs? Get help. Talk to someone. It isn't as simple as that. You, you need an intervention by the people in your life, by the people who love you. But nobody intervenes. They allow it to go on and on and on. This was Caroline Flack. And no one was going to risk saying anything to her. No. Better let her get on with it, eh? It's her life. Let her get on with it. Will you let her get on with it? And look how it ended up. So all of you who are accusing people on the internet, um, social media, the media, I want you to think about this. Your so-called friend died alone. So shut up. Come off of social media. What kind of friends are you anyway? Basically, as soon as you hear she's dead, you're on social media, because it's all about what people think, isn't it? You've got to be seen to be responding to the thing that's trending, even about a person you knew in real life. I hate humans, and right now, I'm ashamed to be a human. I'm sorry for the people who knew her and loved her, who are not saying stupid things on social media. It must be a horrible time for you, and you have my sincere sympathies.